Hey, it's Yanis, and in this video we will take a look at HTTP module. So we will be continuing our Tour of Heroes tutorial, and we will take a look at promises and observables. Um, since we don't have a web server uh, backend in our application, we will be simulating it with in-memory web API. Uh, this is just a package and uh, it will spin up the in-memory web, web API and we can simulate um, uh, this CRUD operation, so create, read, update, delete uh, operations on that web API. Uh, so, first we will need to install this web API, so go to the package JSON and under dependencies uh, list Angular in-memory web API uh, which is a version of 0 0.1.13 like this once you do this uh, go to the so leave the first uh, step of command line uh, serving and you serve and the second one um, type npm install to install this package so i will make sure that our app is running Cool, everything works. So we will change from that mock heroes. We are now getting via the services uh, this this uh, mock heroes. We will uh, change it and we will get uh, from the web API. Uh, we have some unmet dependencies, but it should work. So now let's generate new service. Ngg. For generate service under services and it will be, it will be called in memory data in memory data dot service dot ts so under services it should create new service okay uh, like this and you just open it and now um, let's we will be moving from the mock heroes to the in-memory data service. So uh, first, um, we need to implement implement in-memory DB service. In-memory DB service is in the um, package we installed. So Angular in-memory web API, like this in memory db service and now we implement the create db method create db method and here we just paste the heroes from mock hero so mock heroes copy and paste go back and now just paste it and change const to let like this let heroes with lowercase like this and um, we need to return them return heroes like this and now we can uh, delete this mock heroes.ts because we won't need it anymore like this since we created a service um, the CLI doesn't uh, provide it yet, so we need to go to the app module.ts and under providers, uh, under imports, because we will be importing in memory, memory web API module. Okay, and we can import it from similar to the before db service we import it from the angular web angular in memory web api like this in memory memory web api module like this and now we pass here for root and we pass the created in memory data service like this okay 
so in memory data series is in, is in the services in memory data dot series dot ts okay and now all we need to do to fetch uh, from the web api is to change our here dot service so go to the here dot service and now we don't have uh, these mock heroes anymore we can delete that and get heroes we will now um, call the http and the web api so i will add one variable heroes url which points to the api slash heroes Okay, and now in the get heroes, we will use the HTTP because we don't have it injected, we need to inject it. So private HTTP is a type of HTTP. This, and we need to um, import this HTTP from angular slash HTTP. This. Okay, and now we can call. Uh, return this dot http dot get because it's a get method this dot url here's url and um, since this get returns a promise uh, returns an observable we need to convert it to promise so our code will work for now so we call two promise this two promise is a rxjs op operator so we need to import it from uh, rxjs at operator to promise okay we already have uh, rxjs in our project so it will be okay to promise and now you can use then we get the response response since response is in the json format we need to Convert it to the JavaScript objects. So the JSON and the data is our data, and we format it as hero array like this. And if we have some error, we will use the catch part of promise, and we will call the handle error like this. And now let's implement handle error. So private handle error we get the error and this is a promise too promise of any like this and now uh, let's just console dot error our error and let's return promise dot reject error dot message like this okay so there was some error so go to the in memory data dot service dot ts and wrap this in the curly braces so to return heroes okay great uh, now let's go back to the here dot series dot ts so we get the all heroes in the dashboard or the heroes normally but if i click on the specific hero and details we still uh, get this the old way so to get all the heroes and then filter we will now use the another method to get a specific hero so under the get here we get the id which is good but now we will call this dot http dot get and url now we need to point this url to a specific hero so i will create const url is and now um, we will use the new feature of ECMAScript 6 i think it's backticks and we will use the string interpolation so like this curly braces this dot heroes url and we will add slash and uh, dollar sign and id so the id we get into the method like this and now we we'll, uh, call on this URL again to promise because it uh, returns an observable promise. Then response uh, response is similar to before. Response dot JSON dot data as hero uh, because uh, now it's one hero only. And if it's an error, handle error like this. And now this should work. 
I will navigate to the dashboard and click on a specific hero. Okay. Now I get only this hero. It takes a while because this in memory API is a little bit slow, but we get we can see it's working. Okay. Now um, we have we want to create a full crude app, so create read, update, and delete. For now, we have read functionality like this, but we want to um, update this uh, these heroes too. So we will add an update form. So first thing will be to to just add a save button. If I click on the specific hero, so in the hero details, we want to have a save button here. So let's go to the hero detail.html and duplicate this button, call it a save and save like this. Now let's go to the hero detail.ts and implement this save method. So save. Um, so we will call the hero service we um, always call a service from, from component, so we will call an update function, which do doesn't exist uh, now, and we will pass the updated hero, like this. And on the, because this is, will be a promise, on the return, we will just go back. So we will navigate to the um, last location. So I will save and I will be redirected to the dashboard like this and now let's let's implement this update uh, method on the hero service if i go to the hero service under get hero i will create update update will um, get the hero from parameters and i will return a promise with a hero like this and now I also need to correct the URL because uh, we are not getting or updating all the heroes but specific one. So I will copy from get hero and I will correct this to the hero.id. So ID of the past hero. Like this. And we also, because we need our web API is accepting only application JSON. And we need to um, add headers to our HTTP request. So I will create a, a new private um, variable headers is new headers. And we add uh, object with content type is application JSON. Headers is so correct to the pride. Header is new headers. Content type is application JSON. Okay, like this. And we need to import headers from the HTTP. So HTTP and headers. And now on the update, we specify we return the this.http dot put and we pass the URL and we call json.stringify so we convert from the um, JavaScript objects to the JSON like this and now we call the dot to promise dot then and we get Back the hero like this, and in the case of the error, just this dot handle error like this. Okay, and now we can try out if this works. So when the app gets built, we can navigate to specific hero, change it, save. 
and this gets updated like this. 